and I believe we have worked out our issues only a couple minutes late. And this is the YouTube uh, 1984 realm here. So got to be all nicey nice and politically correct and basically boring and untruthful. Uh, I'll skip the untruthful, but somewhat boring when we don't really get to the heart of the matter. Free speech is something, you know, while not seemingly directly related to Palestine, it most it certainly is. Anything of merit, anything of value, which may expose some of the corruption or of the uh, backhand deals that uh, sell our countries down the river for multicultural agendas, the woke madness, the Hollywood depravity, and all of these other things. Uh, you know, if we actually had free speech and we actually coveted intelligent, wise, and legitimate debate between opposing forces, first off, I would relish the opportunity. That would be absolutely fantastic. I said it years and years ago. I say it again. Mark Regev, Israeli spokesperson, let's do it. Let's do it, me and you. Let's have a nice little talk. Um, any one of the Israelis of any import, I'm not going to deal with some joker on the ground who's just full of Talmudic bile, but uh, I'll certainly go ahead and have a debate, quote-unquote, with, uh, with those who wish to put forward Israel's perspective. Uh, good luck with that. Of course, they won't do that. They'll have their Goy representatives uh, try and do the work for them as they have on the mainstream media. If we had actual debate, if we had real philosophy, if we had real critical thinking as opposed to beer drinking stupidity and short attention spans in America really manifesting in what we call an idiocracy in a great movie, uh, if we actually had things that matter, men of honor, integrity, courage, will, honesty, truth, why is TJP my mantra? Because I've often said, fuck peace. Absent justice, fuck peace. I want no part of it. And to simply accept peace uh, because you feel, oh, it's, 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 uh, what would peace be for Palestine? What do you mean? Peace, the two state solution? I've opposed it from the beginning. I oppose it now. I oppose it till the end of time. And if the Palestinians were ever to sign on the dotted line in some form of authority that could actually be considered their legitimate representation, and I don't consider the PA to be that, but I, you know, I don't consider even Hamas to be that. I, I, I look forward to the Palestinians have a unified voice, and if anything, that's perhaps what can come out of this. But the bottom line is we don't have access to information because free speech is dead. So therefore, the narrative, and, and when we get into the actual free speech zone after departing from YouTube here in just a few moments, well, then I'll get into some stuff that, well... It's highly controversial by normal popular standards. What it, uh, I will say is, uh, quote-unquote, anti-Semitic, which is a misnomer because I am not anti-Semitic. Not if you actually understand the definition of Semitic. Uh, and also the use of Orwellian language, doublespeak, which really just turns black into white and white into black. Um, if you don't understand these things, probably in part due to the lack of free speech. And those who control the media, those who control the media, which I can't even really show here because that would be anti-Semitic, wouldn't it? No, but rumble, it's just truth. The truth is anti-Semitic. See, that's why, that's why we can't indulge in free speech. That's why the Palestinians are not unfairly represented, they are routinely mischaracterized and virtually all aligned with terrorism. Kind of like George Bush telling us you're either with us or you're with the terrorists. So everybody in Gaza is Hamas. Well, even though they won't say it openly, 
how the hell are you going to bomb that place without killing tons of people who are not directly Hamas? And even if they are Hamas, what is Hamas? What is it? You know, do I sit there and uh, make moral decisions for Hamas? No, I don't. But I do know this. When you are being subjected to a type of insanity and ideology which strips you bare of any rights at all and literally relegates you to the position of less than an animal. I know I'm going to lash out, man. Is that a justification? No, I don't stand for raping, <laughs> brutalizing uh, anybody. Uh, in a war, if you're on the other side, man, I, I ain't making no apologies for how much pain you go through when your body gets ripped apart by the bullets that I fire into you if, if I do my job correctly, because that's what war is supposed to be. If I were to fight in a noble war, you can bank. I would fill whoever full of the lead required to get the job done and move on to the next. This is not a pretty game war, and Hollywood has glorified it over and over and over. And the real movies that can show you what war is really like, well, we can watch it live, can't we? We can watch it live, right now, in Gaza. And it's not a war. It's a slaughter. It is a massacre. It is shooting fish in a barrel. Literally, the Palestinians have been abandoned, forgotten, and now the whole world is watching. And, it, you know, the, the good news is, and we're going to move away into real free speech because I'll get real strong there. Our representatives are serving Satan through their benefactors and their controllers who happen to come from the so-called Jewish state of Israel. So we'll get into that and I'll provide you some of the things that will give you greater insight into all things Jewish state of Israel. And we will also talk about the latest figures and developments on the ground in Gaza, where we actually have free speech. So Marcus, if you would uh, watch those numbers drop, because they always YouTube shows. I'm gonna move over when I get uh, when I get the okay from Marcus, but there we go. Thank you, Marcus. Getting better and better. Uh, there is the Rumble channel, rumble.com forward slash C forward slash T J P forward slash live. If you're not already going over there, make sure you write that address down, screenshot that. And that is where we intend to be broadcasting from this point forward. Marcus, is that an okay? Are we, uh, I still see numbers that indicate we're broadcasting to YouTube. 